Lots of power. Lots of power. Oh yeah. Just carving through those turns. So much fun. And I'm getting those brake wobbles. This is when I'd want to set to stable out the wheels. What's up everyone? Today I'm doing my initial test ride on the Bogodi Extreme. So firstly, a big thank you to E-Riders for loaning me this test wheel. And of course, if you're buying a new wheel and would like to support the channel, then use code Jono. Thanks guys. So this should be a good test, uh, given that I just used the pattern the other week. And remember with an initial test ride, you do need a couple of weeks to get over the honeymoon phase, but you can still get plenty of good data, such as how easy it is to pick up, intuitiveness, how much fun and pleasure you get from the ride and the air suspension isn't set to my weight so that's something that would improve the ride in the future but let's get stuck into the riding review all right i've just jumped on the bigoti extreme and the suspension didn't move at all so uh we'll just have to test like that Pump the tire up to 32, feels pretty good. Already just jumping up and down on the suspension. Uh, it's just way different to the pattern. After riding the pattern, it seems pretty familiar. Uh, not much difference with the tire profile, so it makes it pretty easy. Foot plates feel pretty good. Enough traction for me. Oh yeah, can you hear that clunk in the suspension? Yeah, it definitely doesn't <laughs> feel as refined as the pattern, but you know, you do get, get it at a different price. Yeah, the corner's all right. Now, one thing to note is that I'm riding in uh, Brisbane City for the first time, so it's all new terrain for me. So, so that's a uh, big, big factor meaning I'll be riding slower because I don't know where I'm going <laughs> check this out this uh, rear pad has snapped off so I've only got half a brake pad at the moment so pretty dangerous for emergency braking uh, something I have to look out for all right I'm just heading back to get up to the bridge there and if we can do a little bit of a hill climb here, see how it goes. Front power pads feel pretty good. Oh, so easy. Yeah, I barely had to press into that. Really good. Um, the pads do feel a bit firm, so not as comfy as my nylon over, that's for sure but definitely serviceable. Let's do some leaning. Oh. Yeah, it goes all right. <laughs> We've got another little dirt hill here. Let's see if we can push up it. Safety margin, Ooh. too low. Safety margin beeps, that's at 20%, but didn't cut out. That's because I hit some little bumps there. Now I just noticed when I was putting the power down, it did sort of wonder on me. Um, kind of might be too high tire pressure or just inexperience on this wheel. Feels like the pedals are tipping forward a little bit, so might be something I can change in the settings. Yeah, it's really easy to get up and going. Like the pattern I love that about these smaller wheels, a 16 inch class. Uh, what well, is a three by 12 rim? So that's a bit more accurate than saying 16 inch. that tire <laughs> just like the pattern 
Yeah, it's flighty on me. It's wanting to dart around a bit. I wonder if it's because of the wind. This is when I'd want to sit to stabilize the wheel. Not much of a seat, but let's give it a go. Yep. Pretty low like the pattern. Uh, too hard as well, definitely need a custom seat. But that's much more stabilized now. This is awesome, just heading over the Gateway Bridge. So much more fun to ride than to drive over here <laughs> or run it, which I've done one time. It feels like the pedals are really firm. Meaning uh, that the tire keeps surging forward and back over the bumps. So I normally like to ride a bit softer, maybe uh, medium or soft mode. I don't know what the goat offers. In the high point here over the bridge, I'm finding that it is trying to pull the wheel over to the left. So I'm just carving it out a little bit. Yeah, I can feel that same thing standing as well. Look, I know the suspension's not set up for me here, but definitely preferred the pattern suspension. Much more plush. Uh, I think it was a 62 pound spring. So this has got the air suspension on it, meaning it can be dialed to suit you. Yeah, brakes really well, pulls up nicely. I enjoy that so much about the smaller wheels. Alrighty, I missed my turn off, so good time to test the curb. Soak it up rather than popping off for a jump. Yeah, pretty easy to kick off at the lights and to stop. Just like other small wheels, it's good. And I also stopped and uh, changed the pedal tilt from plus four to plus seven. So it's not dipping the toes as much. I really prefer that. And I noticed without the rear power pad, because the one side's missing, I was getting some pretty bad braking wobbles when I was just uh, not using the handle. So, just some things to look out for. So very easy to pull up and just stop here at the lights. Also easy to just kick off while seated. Do you hear the clunk on those stairs? That is a knock for the, the build quality. Soak it up fine, even though the suspension's not set for me. All right, so have a look at the power buttons here. Tiny little things, they're out of the way, and once you're used to the feel, it's fine. Here's your charge port, and looks like the speaker's under there too. So let's, uh, Get this on and test the trolley handle. Looks like a press. Connected. Oh, so it stops at the bottom. And oh, that feels good. It's not pushing down on me if I push down. And it's got a stop point halfway, so that's interesting. It clicks down, not a problem. Backlight looks really dull. But it is bright daylight at the moment, so I have to test that at night time. Alrighty, I want to lift up here to a jump, so let's see how heavy it is. Got the uh, light here, which feels a bit strange. Front and grab handle's a little bit small for me. Oh yeah, pretty light. Ooh. Pretty uh, clunky, but didn't feel terrible. It felt pretty linear, so it felt like it almost bottomed out. Um, even though it's super, super stiff for me. 
and the pedal grip really good because normally these J6 Alpine Stars boots are a bit slippery uh, but the studs are long enough and gripping fine. The main problem I've been having is that the uh, back right brake pad is missing so I got some brake wobbles at higher speeds or right at lower speeds and yeah the grab handle's in a pretty good spot but it's a little bit small I'd like it to be a bit uh, rounder a bit larger for my hand but definitely you can grab onto that for some good braking oh this might be another drop here Fairly big drop there and it soaked it up. And the buttons are a bit weird on the Bigotis. They're under the front, so I couldn't find them initially. Let's have a look. So I turned the light on and it's got blinking, which is pretty good. Appreciate that. But I'll just leave it on daytime running lights now. Nice big display. Yeah, this is some nice paths along here, Brisbane River. And I think the smaller 16 inch wheels really suit this sort of riding. Because if I was on my Sherman, I'd probably be wanting to go a bit too fast. Whereas I can just flick around the, the extreme. And it's still a lot of fun. Definitely noticing that uh, knobby tire it's got that growl to it same as the pattern so i think it is the same tire someone left a scooter on the path yeah if you pop a seat on here i think that'd be a lot of fun sitting and standing uh, definitely not too small the wheel definitely isn't too small to ride seated. And let's try a bit of balance riding here with uh, just the one leg. Yeah, feels good. It's very easy to kick off and get started. Just like the other 16 inch wheels I've ridden. Lots of power, lots of power, yeah, but then it's jittery on me. And I'm getting those brake wobbles without that rear brake pad, so <laughs> that doesn't feel the best. That's why I was using the grab handle there. All right, let's try a tight U-turn here. To, should be fine on the small wheel. Dips down a bit. I think you can adjust that turn dip. It's on a little bit here. And one thing I've noticed with these stock power pads is you can't really move them forwards. And I think I'd like them a bit more forwards um, for hard leaning. So looks like you might have to add a fairing plate or something to fit that in. So I'm just noticing through these turns, already feeling quite comfortable with the extreme. And that's a good sign for a wheel. <laughs> Means that it's balanced and uh, intuitive, forgiving, and it makes it more pleasurable to ride. Oh yeah. Just carving through those turns, so much fun. Yeah, very easy and nimble. Uh, yeah, very enjoyable, I gotta say. I think I'd have as much fun on uh, the pattern, but not really any complaints. But... Oh yeah, lots of power. It goes all right, <laughs> plenty of power. 
easy to get up to speed but I do find that it's a bit jittery at these speeds same as the pattern so that jitteriness might be resolved with a different tire pressure or with just more experience riding on the extreme uh, and of course I'm lacking confidence just because I don't have that rear brake pad but still I picked up the wheel really quickly right here on the ride back I've just noticed a few more things so when I'm standing my knees can hit the front handle if I'm clamping the wheel with my knees so that's the first thing and the other is that you can't see the display with the sun glare on it not at all uh, so that's a bit dodgy finally I was just cruising on a private road of course um, you know got the speed up a bit and I hit safety margin I think I just heard another beep then so it is, it is a fast wheel but it is for more trails and slower speeds it seems or at least that's why I like 20 inch wheels and definitely why uh, coming from the Sherman S I'm going to the Lynx but unfortunately I didn't get the test the trails today just because it's a short test but I'm sure that might be where it shines so maybe leave a comment if you love this as a trail wheel also I saw the 700 kilometer ride report and he was beating it up off-road and it did have a fair few problems so he had to put in uh, some work to it oh I'm on 16% battery so I'll put up how much I've used here for the stats I'm still bolting along pretty quick for 16% so no wonder I got the beep just before and just going down that hill honestly I was scared to brake because I don't have the rear brake pad so I'm just keeping it going <laughs> and now I've got to get it back to e-riders so thanks once again for them uh, letting me test ride this one cheers guys ride safe and I'll catch you next time